Broadway.com. I'm Broadway.com. Where's Susan Blackwell? Broadway.com looks a lot like my house. I'm the worst. <laughs> Friends, what is up? It's me, Cat Steel. I'm gonna do something that has been highly requested and something that I personally have just been wanting to do for a really long time. So I guess Broadway.com is the one who came up with it, or regardless, I'm gonna credit them with it because it is so much fun. I love Broadway.com. There is a game called Roll Call that they play with their guests where basically they ask them questions about their career and they answer with different roles off of their resume. So that is what we're going to be playing today. Of course, I want you guys to play along in the the comments down below so go ahead and answer all the questions that I'm gonna answer with questions off of your own resume also if you're new here hi my name is Katherine Steele I really like musicals this is kind of an internet cult don't worry about it hit subscribe to join the cult first we take over Broadway and then the world regardless let's jump on into it oh hi there welcome to my resume hey guys I'm Kat Steele let's play some roll call I sound like a Role that'll never live down. Okay, um, where is it? Where is it? Where, where is it? Wait, where is it? Oh, this is much harder than it looks on the internet. <laughs> Here it is. The very first time that I did Into the Woods, I played the tree mom, but my family loves to point out the fact that I was also uh, the giant's wife, which I refuse to acknowledge at all times because like as an insecure little 13 year old in Crocs with a unibrow, I was like, am I the giant's wife because I'm fat and ugly and I look like a giant and I should kill everybody with my giant feet? Cause that's what 13 year olds think. Not the case, it was a joke because I am 5'2 as a fully grown adult. So just imagine how little I was at 13. But uh, yeah, I refuse to acknowledge that I played the giant's wife. And anytime I talk about Into the Woods, despite winning like a, a Broadway world award for later doing it as Rapunzel and then getting to play Cinderella at another point, my parents never stopped bringing up the fact that I was also the giant. Role that I felt sexiest in. This is a weird one because I don't feel like a sexy person. Oh, I'll go with this one actually. Now, this might seem like a weirdly specific answer to that question. I got to wear a bunch of really gorgeous, really flattering dresses, but there was a directorial choice when I was playing like one of the rich young society girls of Argentina that the soldiers were going to strip me down to my underwear and I had really pretty like period appropriate lingerie on underneath and that was terrifying because it was a huge theater. It was like, 2,000, 2,500 people in that audience. And I was like, ooh, I'm getting stripped by a bunch of soldiers right now. But uh, that was really fun. <laughs> what does that say about me? Role my family loves the most. Ooh, okay, it would have to be this one. Kiss Me Kate, I was playing opposite my best guy friend at the time in high school and we just had the absolute most fun cracking whips, throwing breakaway bottles at each other, doing crazy lifts and stunt fighting. My parents, loved that show. They saw every single performance of it. I think it's still like my dad's cell phone wallpaper. It was just a great time and totally ridiculous and definitely something that gets brought up like every Thanksgiving. <laughs> Roll that made me feel like a star, like a star. This is a weird, funny one. I was a lead on a series, kind of in the vein of like Hannah Montana, but not quite as like Disney comedy. I'm not really sure, but I felt really cool when I got to play the evil rock star Kimmy Crash. I got to record original music. I showed up to set and I was like number two on the call sheet. I think that was also the week that I got my first car and my driver's license. So I like drove up to set in my new car and everyone was like, good morning, Miss Steele. And I felt so cool. There was one scene in the show where I was like, driving up to a club in a luxury car and they had a crane shot. So they had a giant crew all working this crane to get this one shot of me looking like really cool in this car. I felt pretty badass. Roll I was wrong for. I'm gonna grab a couple of answers for this. I've got three of those for this one. Uh, first up, Margaret in Carrie the Musical. When I auditioned for this production, I auditioned for a different role and I believe I was initially cast as that role, I later found out. For this particular production, I think it made sense in terms of who else was in the cast and who I got to play opposite. I ended up getting to play opposite one of my best friends, Julia. <laughs> this role, <laughs> I did Once Upon a Mattress when I was 
in middle school, I think. I'm not really a dancer. Pretty much the only important thing that the jester does, and I'm not really a dancer. I can get my way through choreography, but you're never going to see me in an audition and be like, she's a dancer, a dancer dances. And then that show that I was just talking about in the last question, I am not a badass rock star. In between takes, they had to have someone who was like actually kind of grungy and cool pull me aside on set and teach me how to dance when I'm like standing by the microphone because I just like looked so awkward and like preppy bouncing along. Not great. <laughs> Roles that I want to play again. Ooh, I have a couple of these, so I'm gonna try to like limit them so I don't just pull all of these down. Currently, these are the top three roles that I am dying to do again. Mothering Ragtime, I played when I was much too young. I don't think I really understood the full emotional scope of what I was going on. It was the first time I ever played the lead in a musical, so that was really cool. Such a gorgeous score, such a complex role, my fave! And Deaver in All My Sons. This is one of the few straight plays I've ever done. I love Arthur Miller's writing. He's probably my favorite player. Play, right, which I know sounds cliche, but it's cliche for a reason because he's incredible. The thing I love about All My Sons is that everyone comes on stage with their own intricacies and their own relationships and their own secrets. It's one of those shows that kind of unfolds in a really interesting dynamic way. I feel like there's so much I can say about Christine and Phantom of the Opera that we would be here for decades, but let me just say that I am very ready to, uh, to hit this one again. That would be a dream come true role that scared me the most. Through the entire audition and rehearsal process of Into the Woods, I was incredibly ill. I did not have a voice. I was fevery. It was really bad and it went on for about six weeks. I was so intimidated. I am panicking that they all think that I'm terrible, that I'm trash. Oh, and don't even get me started on climbing that tower like five times a show. Oh my gosh, in a ball gown and heels in the dark. Scary time. Scary, scary time. Role that was most unlike me. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> this is another show that I am dying to do again. The Crucible, I played Abigail Williams. Not only was it a ton of fun, but this is definitely the character that is nothing like me. Boys completely ignored me all throughout middle school and high school and most of college. I've never been like the sexy, I'm gonna manipulate you and frame your wife for witchcraft kind of girl. I am not an Abigail Williams. There is very little that's like seductive and secretive about me. I'm very much the kind of person who's like, I'm sweaty, wanna be friends? That was a stretch and it was very fun. Role I could do in my sleep, I know this one. I get to host an incredible performing arts talent show showcase every week. We're currently in our fourth season. I have an incredible team that I work with on this show. I'm vegan and gluten-free. Do they have people teeth? We shoot every single Monday. We've just reached such a great team collaboration energy that we just really, really fly through it. And it's so easy and so fun. Role that was the most fun. Not so much this role, but just the overall experience of doing this show. If you guys don't know Jesus Christ Superstar, I was one of the three girls who are always like singing back up for Judas and like dancing and like having fun. Jesus Christ Superstar was such a fun summer. Every single night after rehearsal, I went out with like my little friend group in the show and we just had the best time. I just remember always going out for like snow cones, playing Cards Against Humanity and having slumber parties. And I got covered in blood while in the sequin bikini. So it was a good time. Rolls with the best costumes. Ooh, I've gotten very lucky that I've gotten to wear a number of gorgeous ball gowns and very sparkly costumes and I love that. But this is like my most underrated favorite costumes when I got to play Vivian in Oklahoma, which is one of Lori's friends. She sings out of your dreams, out of my dreams, out of someone's dreams. This is how I made my professional debut. I had just turned 18. There were a bunch of equity actors in the cast and I felt very cool. Lots of petticoats, lots of layers, lots of bustles, very, very, very layered, gorgeous, intricate costumes. Role that changed me the most. I'm gonna go ahead and say Princess Fiona in Shrek. Growing up, I really felt like my worth and my beauty and all of that was kind of wrapped up in this idea of who I thought I was in terms of being like this perfect Disney princess. I'm no trouble at all. I'm just nice, please think I'm pretty. Which is silly because that's not me. And for so much of my life, I kept trying to wedge myself into this little corner where I just felt really unhappy and scared and I felt like I was faking it all the time. And I didn't even realize I was doing that until I played Fiona in Shrek because that's exactly what she's doing. I have a whole really long video where I like deep dive into Princess Fiona and Shrek. I'll link that down below. Princess Fiona totally changed me. 
role I wish more people saw. I got to be in the original cast of a new Codis and Holman musical called ZM. I don't even know if they have a title for it now because ZM stood for Untitled Zombie Musical. It had very similar vibes to You're in Town, which is what they won the Tony for. I got to play a Catholic schoolgirl who got turned into a zombie. So I got to eat brains and I got my heart ripped out of my body. I hope it goes somewhere and they get to do more of it because this is super funny and I think a lot of people would really enjoy it. Role that was most like me, ooh. You know, if I had to choose one, I guess I would say Rosaline in Love's Labor's Lost, and that's probably because the character is very vaguely written, so I just kind of turned it into me. I like Rosaline a lot. I think she's a little sarcastic. I think she's a little wary of people. She's a good friend. I think she has a good sense of humor. I think she has a good head on her shoulders, and now I do sound like a because I feel like I'm talking about myself. Also, if you didn't know, the air conditioning just came on, which is good because I am very overheated. But what I was actually gonna say is that I have a vlog channel. So if you like vlogs, be sure to check out my vlog channel. I'll link that down below. You can also just find it on my main channel. You yeah. smell unbelievable. <laughs> if you're new here, hit subscribe. We love theater. You love theater. Wanna be in a cult? It's simple. That was my pitch. Please join my cult. I hope you guys are having a great day. I love you so, so much. Break a leg and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.